Hey everybody, welcome back to the Afterlife SMP server. This, ladies and gentlemen, is season three, as you guys already know. And we start off today's episode with a bit of a small but large bang. As you guys can see, as you guys might remember from the previous episode, GP pranked me with my big old head. Well, he's got a big old nose now. <laughs> I don't know if the uh, the sign I put up there is actually still up there. Maybe he might. No, oh, it's up there. Maybe G GP hasn't seen it yet. I did a uh, did go ahead and message him to see if he'll see that. But yeah, yeah, GP, that's me. You got a big old nose. I will say though, I've, I actually used this slime shop for my bouncy castle build in the previous episode, and it's very nice to have have, have those slime blocks uh, ready. King Z's been been pretty busy, so he hasn't been able to stock up his shop. So, I guess competition can be good. I guess it can be good. Yeah. I suppose sometimes it's good to have a little bit of friendly competition on the Afterlife SMP server. But, ladies and gentlemen, today I want to head on over to the base, over to the Mesa, and get ourselves some work going on the base area. I have obviously been working on some of the wheat fields a little bit, the cow farms and stuff. The main thing I, I think I want to do today is do some terraforming around there because we haven't really worked on the hills and the wheat fields and all of the little details of that farming area. And I really want to get that started today, get that going, and hopefully have some, some pretty good progress made on that today. I'm trying to find... I can't find it, but I'm trying to find a pig because... Uh, for those who don't know, we have recently added a new data pack to server made by the one and only Hubone. I can't find a pig anywhere. I don't, I don't know where they are. <laughs> but basically, whenever a player logs off now, this skin, wherever I, wherever I log off at, will be replaced by a pig. And that pig can be led. That pig can, you know, be pushed all different kinds of places. Uh, we, had the, we had the data pack as well on Season 2. Uh, something very very similar to it. Uh, Hughes has done a lot of updating to it for season three and Yeah, I'm trying. I don't think I can find a pig anywhere around here to show you guys, but It's made some interesting combinations of uh, where you log off and where you log back on I believe I logged back on at a I think it was over here. I believe it was ash pushed me into a boat <laughs> And yeah, I logged off. I, I logged back in all the way over here I believe Ash pushed me into the into a boat and just sent me down here. So Yeah, you can probably see there's a boat Way down here. Yep way down there. You guys probably can't see on YouTube, but the, but the, there's a boat all the way down there and Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty fun. I'm trying to find a pig because I, I want to take a pig somewhere I don't know where yet, but it's really fun to, fun to mess around with <laughs> The key is to not be too cruel, but also play a little mini prank on some people Which is always a lot of fun to have on a server Anyways, guys, I'm going to head through, through the nether. We're going to head on over to the Mesa base area, and we're going to get started, I think, with today's episode. Lots of terraforming, lots of action in that realm, so hopefully you guys enjoy. So let's start off with a few updates around this area. I've actually done a little bit of work. You can see this pathway design here, which not really a fan of. This is probably going to be removed. I like the idea of uh, coarse dirt with the orange sand, but I think it's just a little too much coarse dirt. And I think it needs more path blocks because I really think I want to add in more path blocks to this sort of pathway here That's kind of off the main trail. I did also finally add another portal to my base I know it's been a while, but yeah, there's finally another portal now If you go through the Mesa tunnel that I made a lot of you guys will will remember that tunnel that I made If you go past that portal like basically through that portal you can find the portal to here But if we head down here, I finally finished up this bridge as well as you can see on the side here all of it is now the stripped spruce instead of the stripped oak, and I think it looks so much better like this. I really, I'm really glad that we ended up doing this. Then over here, I don't know how much of this you guys have seen, so I'll show it off anyways, but this is where the bulk of the first part of today's episode is going to be located at. Obviously, we, we got ourselves some weed fields here. We really need to expand the grass all the way over to here. I want all of this, I think, to be grass, and if we want to mix in some coarse dirt and stuff, in some patchy areas, I think that's probably the best thing to do. As well as I need all of this to be grass and or I want to build up some little mountains here. Not really little, I guess like little hills is a better better description of what I want it to be. Um, simply because it, you know it's obviously this area is gonna be pretty flat because it's a you know it's a farming area. So why why would it have many hills? But 
I think it's really it's way too flat right now and it needs some more height to it so we're definitely gonna be working on that today that's actually where we're gonna start off i think today's episode probably with a little bit of a replay mod time lapse at least i'm hoping so so i guess guys without further ado i'm gonna get to work on this and uh yeah we'll see what comes out of it so no time lapse for this one but i have done a lot of work over here ladies and gentlemen on this farming area if we cross this bridge here you'll see all this grass is now in place. I've got myself a little bit of a pathway. I decided to kind of continue with the same sort of pathway design we had all the way down there and decided to add in these path locks with this coarse dirt and this grass around the side as well, mixing up just a little bit. And I think that this sort of pathway design is what I'll be going with for most of the, most of the pathway designs around here, especially over here in the farming area. I think even once we cross this bridge, even just using a lot of the path blocks, I think it's gonna be a much more rundown sort of uh, method, I guess, is gonna work a lot better than all of this red sand and coarse dirt that we have over here. So I'm probably gonna expand that this way because I'm really not a fan of this. I think I was saying that in the last uh, last little bit as well. I'm really not, not a big fan of that, but I want to bring you guys back for a progress update and show you guys what all has been happening. Dirt placing has taken a lot of time, a lot of time, but I think it's really gonna be worth it once it's all said and done. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna go ahead and put in some more of this pathway right here. See how this pathway looks alongside the rest of this area. I'm gonna to try to mix in some red sand on the sides here as well, mix it in with all of this terracotta as well and see how the pathway kind of jives with that. And once, once I've gotten some of that done, I'll bring you guys back for another progress update. Oh man, have I done some work here, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, so much pathway is in place. Over here, I tried to sort of transition the grass over into this area over here because obviously a lot of that's just gonna be grass and, and seeds and stuff over there. There's not really gonna be any red sand or any sort of much deadness, I guess, over there. So I tried to transition over here. I don't think this, this transition works out all that well, but we will sort of get into that. I, I think a lot of this area here needs more grass and it'll sort of look a little bit better. But as you head up this way, I decided to, like, like I said before, replace the pathway that we had with this, these path blocks. And I think it works a lot better. And if you, if you head up this way, you'll see I've mixed in some regular terracotta with the orange sand with a little bit of coarse dirt here and there. And I think that this is going to look pretty dang good. I have the portal here. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I have, I have another portal now. I think I did. Yeah, pretty sure I did. Uh, and I basically took this path right up alongside the portal because I think that this is where the portal is actually going to be and around this way down and connected it up with where our auto smelting area is over here, which we do need to actually probably rip this one out and, and replace it with a new one at some point because this one's really bad. It, it does not work out very well, which I definitely want to replace as soon as possible. But ladies and gentlemen, I think that's all I'm going to do for this pathway for right now. The, the next thing I want to do, I have a whole bunch of dirt. I think it's in here. I've got all this dirt and I've got all this grass, not much grass, a little bit of grass. We need to build ourselves a little bit of some hills over here, I wanna build up these hills here once again. Um, maybe I'll put something inside of them. I, I think this area is gonna be pretty flat. We might build up a hill here or there. And I wanna build up a little bit of a hill over here because I eventually wanna put something on top of this hill. I'm not really sure what yet. So guys, I think without further ado, I think it is time. I think it's time for an actual time-lapse in today's episode. I uh, wasn't gonna do one earlier, but I think now, now it's, is the perfect time. So guys, let me get things together. Let me uh, go ahead and clear out some area and uh, yeah, let's get started. Future Fire here, letting you know that this time lapse is incomplete. It's the first mini time lapse of today's episode and the second half of it, this footage I couldn't use. So you're only gonna be able to see the first half of it, the first underlying layers of it. I ran out of dirt and grass this is the only hill I was actually able to do uh, today as well. So we need a lot more dirt. I used the entire shulker box of dirt and the however many stacks of grass that we had. And it's still not done. It's still not done to my to my satisfaction. So I'll continue to work on it, guys, as uh, as the episode moves along in between clips and obviously after this. So yeah, that's it. That's it for the time lapse. Hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of today's episode. This is the finished product. As you see, the grass is still kind of growing in here, but I had to make a few adjustments to try to fill in the gaps in between uh, the, the wheat field here, which still needs to be expanded some, and this hill. I don't think the hill is necessarily all there. I still think I need to maybe add in some more grass here or there in some places and sort of expand it out this way. It kind of molds in better with the atmosphere here, but still, I think it's not not a terrible job. Not a terrible job for a custom hill, And but we'll, we'll, we'll get some more work going on into it. It's totally fine. We'll, we'll get there. It's all good. 
yeah, unfortunately, the, the second half of the replay mod stuff kind of got messed up, as you guys probably already know. Uh, but we still turned on a, a nice little hill here. And what I wanted to do on top of this hill, and I haven't come up quite with a design for it, so I'm not going to do that yet, is I want to put a windmill up here, I think. Now, this windmill isn't going to be, you know, the typical medieval windmill, although I did think about doing that here. Because this is an older western town sort of theme, we're going for one of those more metal windmills. So if I can think of... If I can remember anyways, I'll put a picture up on the screen right now of what the kind of thing I'm looking for. If you guys know or have any tips as to how I can build one of those, because I'm really, really struggling with how I'm supposed to build one of those old Western metal frame windmills, um, wind structure, whatever you want to call it, because it's not something I've ever done before and it seems pretty difficult to me. So hopefully we can, uh, we can come up with something for that soon. But instead of that, I tried building one of those in a creative world, and instead of coming up with that, I came up with something else. It was actually the reason why I cleared out, I cleared out a bunch of this area over here. It's the reason I put red sand all the way over to here, because I came up with a little water tower design that I want to build over here. Originally, I was going to put the water tower closer to over there, but I think it'd make a lot more sense for the water to be close to the area here, rather than just be something that... Um, is like further away and whatnot because to be closer to the people and where the people are and what the people are doing not necessarily just way out in where farmland is so i'm thinking right here we're going to put a nice little windmill and it's going to be the second mini time lapse of today's episode uh because it's a pretty simple build it's just a really simple build all it takes is a few barrels some strip spruce wood and we're good so i think you guys will enjoy it though I guess without further ado, I think, it's, I think it's time we build this thing. Let's go ahead, jump on into a time lapse, and I'll go ahead and build this here on the server. Oh, did you uh, expect music for this? No, no, we don't do music in time lapses anymore. You get to hear my beautiful voice. I want to mention about this clip that I actually tried something a little bit different. You may not even be able to tell. I tried decreasing my FOV whenever doing replay mod. I saw Kyle Blaine doing that recently. He was doing some replay mod stuff. On, the, on one of his most recent Afterlife live streams. If you don't know who he is, link is down below um, because he is an Afterlife member. <laughs> but I was watching him do this on stream and I realized increasing and, de and decreasing FOV could be a very interesting tactic. I don't really know if you can see it in this, but I figured I would try it out and I think I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Maybe we'll do it for some for, for some future replay mod time lapses. Maybe we won't. I'd like to mess around with it just a little bit. Yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this replay mod time lapse. No music. We don't do music here anymore. Just kidding. We'll do some in the future at some point. I think it's finally done. I added in some more details after that little bit of a time lapse, and I added a little bit of a border around here, a little bit of some coarse dirt pathway coming up into here. You can see the leaf border, the lanterns, the fence posts here, all the way around. So I've got a lot more details to do outside of this, but I thought that this added a little bit of some nice detail to this area. I'm not entirely certain though about the leaves on the side here. It might be a little bit too much, so I'll have to play around with that and see if I actually do end up liking it. But if we head up head of the back here, the thing you guys didn't see on the time lapse was actually actually if we head up into here, you will see a trapdoor on top. You can actually go down inside of the area here, and this is this water tower is actually filled with water. Although I wouldn't recommend actually going inside of it because that would probably contaminate the water, but it's still there and it's definitely something I can still go into. So it's technically a functional water tower. We can at least go inside. You know, there's actual water there. It's a miracle. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Hopefully you guys like this little bit of a design. I don't, I think adding in a fence post, which is what I was originally going to do, might look a little bit better. But I think that this is more bulky and might fit my interpretation of a Western town a lot more. But yeah, there's actually one more thing, guys, that I haven't mentioned yet that I actually wanna show you guys right after we go to sleep. And that is this thing right here. Enjoy this gift from Mario's Masonry South of Town Hall. Mario has gifted, I think every Afterlife member, a free two diamonds worth of items. So I at least wanna go down, I think over to the shopping district, check out some of the things over there and uh, maybe redeem this. We'll see what, what Mario is actually selling at the Masonry. So let me go ahead and put some of this stuff away guys and I'll head on over to the shopping district and we can sort of have a look around there. So I made my way over here to the shopping district, and as you can see, uh, there's a few shops here. 
there may be a thing happening on GP's face, but it's it's, it's fine. We're not, we're not gonna we're not gonna look at that. Anyways, this I believe is Mario's masonry. Yes. If we go in here, I've, I've actually had a little bit of a look around, and he's selling a lot of things in here. The big thing I love to see bricks. He's selling bricks for one diamond per stack, and he's selling these brick thingies, these these brick thingies for one diamond for three stacks. Which is a pretty nice little deal, I would say. And he's selling cobblestone, which I'm always running out of. Now, I really wish someone actually had a had a had a dirt uh, dirt shop, but I figured we'd use our free two diamonds worth of items, probably on bricks, because I'm always needing bricks. So we're gonna take these two, free two diamonds worth, and we're going to stash it in there. We've used it up. So yeah, pretty awesome, pretty awesome. We got ourselves some bricks. We've got this side now, and I also saw that he's selling some obsidian as well, which is actually a really good deal. 16 obsidian for one diamond is actually not a bad deal at all if you have a lot of diamonds. Over here we have Jagiero's shop, Captain Jags, where he's selling bone blocks, one diamond per stack, which I think I actually... I'm not going to buy these yet, but I love bone blocks so much. So we, we might be coming back here because that is a really good deal. But the other thing I saw was right here. Steamy Bakes. Now, I don't remember whose shop this is, but they're selling golden carrots for two diamonds per stack. So one diamond less than I am and pork chops for one diamond per stack. Now, actually, you'll see in my inventory, I actually have some diamonds. I went and checked the profits at my shop and some people did already buy steak and whatnot from there. I also don't even know if the shop's already open. It says opening soon. I'm assuming it's already open because people have started paying. But one diamond per stack for pumpkin pie as well. We may have to uh, lower our price a little bit. He's selling cake as well. Wait, 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 wait. So he's selling pumpkin pie. Wh wh whoever whoever shop this is is selling pumpkin pie, golden carrots, pork chops, which is pretty much the equivalent to steak, and cake. I think somebody's trying to run me out of business. We may have some issues here. We may have to get some some pretty aggressive marketing campaigns going on here because somebody I think is uh trying to run me out of the food business. Luckily, my best shop currently is is the terracotta shop, so we're still good. But suspicious stew, there's actually some really cool little um really cool little cells here. Some chicken, chicken's actually not that's actually what is it one diamond per two stacks. That's actually a pretty good deal. Um, there's actually some pretty good deals here, which is pretty impressive. Yeah, I think uh. I think we may, not, we may head on over to my shop and we might need to lower a few of our prices so that people know we've seen this other shop and uh, people shouldn't be afraid of spending their diamonds over here at the steak and cake shop. So seeing as the other shop's prices were a diamond a stack for pork chops, I figured we would lower our steak prices to one diamond for two stacks. Since I do have that massive cow farm you guys have seen, uh, it makes things a lot easier to be able to stock all this steak. So, yeah, I think that's a pretty good price. The golden carrots, I need, I, need to, I need to leave here so I can at least make a profit. And the cake, we still need to restock. So, I got to do some restocking on the shop, guys. I got to do some restocking on the terracotta shop as well. I think we've got a lot to do. And I, what I really need for pumpkin pie is I really need some villagers. So, we'll have to get into restocking that pretty soon. I don't think anyone has... Yeah, I don't think anyone's ever used this book. So, we might end up getting rid of this book. Unless people, mainly because there's an, another shop now, and I don't think anyone's really gonna need any sort of bulk purchasing. But yeah, guys, uh, it looks like some competitions happening here on the server. I'm really glad that we got ourselves some bricks. And actually, I don't think I've been showing you guys, but I've been collecting stuff up from my shops off camera. And if we go ahead and do this, I grab these diamonds. We are officially add four more diamond blocks. We are officially at over a stack and a half of diamond blocks, which is pretty crazy. To be fair, I don't really spend diamonds because I don't really need all that much, but yeah, we are officially over a stack and a half of diamond blocks, which is pretty darn crazy, and I'm really happy that we're starting to actually be one of the richer ones on the server, I think, is is, is the term I should be using. I, I think that that's about what it is. I really need to stock the glass shop as well, so we've got some restocking to do, which I'll do in between episodes, but ladies and gentlemen, I think that's actually going to wrap things up for today. Hopefully, you all enjoyed this relatively short episode compared to all my other Afterlife episodes. If you did enjoy the video, go ahead, smash the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you're new and or not already subscribed. But anyways, guys, and take care, and I'll see you later. Why are my outros just so awkward? I have really awkward outros. Who can someone like make me an outro?
or you know tell me how to make a better outro because my outros are just wow they're just terrible i'm sorry guys wow i can't believe you guys have to listen to that although i don't really think anyone's uh listening to the end here if you're listening to the end here comment potato in the comment section below and leave a like and all that stuff because potato anyways i that, that that's it stop rambling white stop it stop rambling stop it stop 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 have a nice day bye bye